morning to you who are live streaming with us this morning. You know, it's just a blessing to be in the land of the living. God has spared our lives, not by our goodness, nor by our righteousness, but by his tender love and mercies. You know, I just, I jotted down some things. I just want to talk with you this morning before we go into our morning services. And I, I wrote down, I, my mind goes back as my late pastor, the Reverend Dr. C.J. Anderson would, would say during his KDIA uh, radio station broadcast on Sunday morning, uh, during the hour of period of med meditations, he would say, uh, you wouldn't raise that way to stay at home on a Sunday. You, you, you wasn't raised that way lay in the bed and not go to church. He would say, you have time. You have time. And I'm, I'm, I'm just repeating this because you do have time right now to get up out of that bed and put on your clothes and go to the church of your choice. I mean, if you don't have a church home, come on over to Great St. John Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church. I've heard some say that uh, they do not have to go to church to be saved, to go to heaven. Well, my question is, how can you pastor yourself? How can you pastor yourself? Jeremiah, the third, sec, third chapter in verse 15 says that a man need a woman, need a, uh, need a man, pardon me, to pastor them. Uh, no man, no woman, no boy, no girl can pastor themselves uh, to make it to heaven. You need a pastor. The Lord said, and I will give you, in Jeremiah the third chapter, he said, I will give you pastors according to mine heart, while uh, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The Lord said that he will give you pastors. Not we ourselves will pastor ourselves. We can't do that. I needed a pastor when I was growing up. Yes, thank God for the church. When you don't unite and, and fellowship with the other sheep and the lambs together under the pastorship of a pastor, you don't know which way to go. You think you do, but you won't know the way. I just want to encourage you this morning. Get in a church of your choice. The Lord have blessed you once again to wake up on another Sabbath day. He gives us months, years, hours, seconds to get it right. Some say, well, I'm just waiting on the Lord to tell me, to guide me. Well, he sends men to guide you by the Holy Ghost. Those who are filled with the Spirit of the Lord, guided by His Holy Spirit, will speak the words of the Lord from the pulpit. Now, you got to pray, though. You got to pray, and you be satisfied where you want to attend church. Church is so important now. I, I heard my wife say this morning, Dr. Stanley, she heard say, a uh, renowned preacher, television preacher, he said, uh, everything changes. Rules change, social uh, events change. Uh, daylight saving time will change back. Uh, the laws are changing, but Jesus will never change. He is what he was yesterday. He will be today and forever. You can depend on Jesus. Who else can you depend on? Yeah, your closest friend sometimes unexpectedly 
you can't depend on, but you can depend on Jesus. God bless you. Uh, you can't live in isolation. I met some on the BART and on the bus, I invited them to church, and they tell me they they already in church. Well, you can't be in church not fellowshipping with the other saints and with the sheep of the fold. God bless you. Think about it and pray about it. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. Based on God's word. See, forgetting yourself not to assemble. You're supposed to assemble yourselves together. Amen. Amen. Amen.